I'll quickly show you how to use the split toning adjustment in Affinity Photo using this composition. I can add the adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Split Toning. This adjustment allows you to add color into the shadow and highlight tonal regions separately. For example, for the highlights, I could choose a yellow hue tone, then increase the saturation to control the amount of coloration. For shadows, I could choose a deep blue tone, then once again increase the saturation. The balance slider allows you to control the weighting of the shadow and highlight tone coloration. Bringing it to the right will lend more weighting to the shadow coloration, whereas bringing it left will lend more weighting to the highlight coloration. Be aware that you can also use the layer opacity as a valid way of controlling the contribution of the split toning effect. Split toning is also a useful creative tool for black and white imagery. With this image, for example, I could add a split toning adjustment, then lend a strong red tint to the highlight detail. I could then give the shadow detail a more subtle blue tint. However, do also consider that you don't have to tint both highlight and shadow regions simultaneously. I could reduce the shadow's saturation to zero and just focus on tinting the highlight detail here, whilst still using the balance slider to control it further. It's also worth experimenting with blend modes to further extend the usefulness of this adjustment. Using multiply, for example, gives me a very dark and dramatic result. And I could quickly add a complementary curves adjustment to brighten some of the darker tones whilst stopping the highlights from becoming too bright. And that was a quick video on using the split toning adjustment. Thank you very much for watching.